Technology is a great field for creative people who love solving problems. But what most people think of when they hear the word technology are things like fancy new computers, complicated microchips, increasingly impressive phones, or new forms of entertainment. But technology is more than just products, much more actually. Technology is a body of knowledge used to create tools, develop skills, and extract or collect materials. It is also the application of science to meet an objective or solve a problem. Or, to put it in simpler terms, technology is the use of knowledge in systematic problem solving to better our world. Technology is what happens when you take knowledge, combine a little creative hard work, and help to change the way that humans interact with the world around them. It's a pretty amazing field and includes five different categories. These categories can help us better understand what sorts of solutions technology is capable of providing. Oh, calm down, this is gonna be fun. First off, we've got tangible technology. Tangible technologies are things that can be read or studied in order to replicate or enact a process. Now, these things include blueprints, prototypes, and operational or field manuals. The second category are intangible technologies, which are things that help people change the way they think in order to better solve problems and come to better solutions, uh, which includes like consulting, problem solving, uh, and uh, updated training methodology. The third category are low technologies, which are less advanced or relatively unsophisticated developments or equipment. The term is usually applied to crafts and tools which predate the industrial revolution. Low technology can be practiced or fabricated with a minimum amount of capital investment and is free from specialization. It is labor intensive and manipulates coarse or gross matter and weaker forces. Next, we have intermediate and appropriate technologies. This is an encompassing technological choice that is small scale, decentralized, labor intensive, but energy efficient and locally controlled. It is usually an alternative to capital intensive technology. This technology is semi-automated, partially intelligent, and manipulates refined matter and medium level forces. Finally, we have high technology. This stuff is at the cutting edge or that which is the most advanced technology available. It is often used in reference to microelectronics rather than other technologies. High technology is almost always entirely automated, intelligent, and manipulates fine matter and powerful forces. That's a lot of information, but there's still a lot more to know about technology. This is a growing field, and all over the next several years, it's going to yield numerous career opportunities for well-qualified candidates. Opportunities that are fun, profitable, life-changing, and cutting-edge. Let's look at a few major fields you could enter. Always wanted to save lives? Medical technology just might be the right fit for you. It's the application of specialized equipment in the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease. And for those of you that are not yet impressed, why not try agricultural technology? This is the application of techniques and resources to raise crops, animals, feed, fiber, and other useful resources. It's certifiably farm tasted. And then there's information technology, or IT, which is concerned with the ability to manage, assess, and understand the transfer of information from a sender to a receiver. Pretty cool, huh? But wait, there's way more. That's not even the half of it. We didn't even get to biotechnology, energy and power technology, manufacturing, construction, or transportation technologies. Amazing, you say? Good, because technology is amazing. That is the job of technology to amaze us by solving problems and creating solutions that we didn't even know were possible. 
from the invention of the hammer to help us smash food for eating and materials for building, to the wheel for transporting, to the car for mobility, to the iPad for playing Candy Crush while going to the bathroom, we are a species that thirsts for innovation. And as a student, you're already taking many classes that help you develop the skills and strengths necessary to think like a technologist. Every class that requires novel or systematic problem solving is teaching you the building blocks of technological innovation. So keep on studying. We bet that one day you'll blow our minds. And if you're looking for more inspiration on the road to college and beyond, you need to check out College Greenlight. Thanks so much for listening. We look forward to seeing you next time.